Hello friends, most welcome to my YouTube channel Maths by Samit Deshmukh. So today we are starting question number 2 from exercise 1.2 in which we have to show that two statements are logically equivalent using what? Using truth table. So when we can say that two statements are logically equivalent if their truth values are identical, means exactly same. So using this method, let us check whether the given statement are logically equivalent or not. See in the first example, first statement is negation p and q. So let us first find out truth value of negation p and q. To find out truth value of negation p and q first will require truth value of negation p. So this negation p can be find out from the truth value of p. So negation of true is false, negation of true is false, negation of false is what true. Once the truth value of negation p is known to us then find out truth value of negation p and q. So truth value of negation p and q are known to us. We are connecting these two statement by which logical connective and and what is the condition in case of and at least one statement is false truth value of and will be false. So here we will get false because one statement is false here also will get false here both are true so result will be true here one statement is false so truth value value of and will be false. So truth value of first statement is known to us. So truth value of first statement are in column number 4. Now we are trying to find out truth value of second statement. For that purpose first we have to find out truth value of P or Q. So truth value of P and Q are known to us. We are connecting these two statement by or and in case of or if at least one statement is true truth value of or will be true. So truth value so here we are connecting these two statement by or. So at least one statement is true or will be true. So one here true is there, here also true is there, here also true is there and here true is not there. Means in first three cases at least one t appears so or will be true and in the last case we will get false. Once the truth value of P or Q is known to us, negation P is already known to us, we are connecting these two statement by and. So P or Q and negation P. So let us try to find out uh, and of these two statement and what is the condition in case of and at least one statement is false and will be false. So here false false is there here both are true. So false false true and in the last case here we are getting false. So truth value of this second statement is also known to us and this truth value we have written in column number 6. Now observe the truth value in column number 4 and column number 6 f f t f f f t f so truth values are identical that's why we can say that given two statement are logically equivalent so here write down so from columns columns 4 and 6 what is our conclusion negation p and q is equivalent to p or q and negation p so hope the method to show that two statement are logically equivalent is very clear to you. Just find out the truth value of both the statement and check whether the truth values are exactly same means identical or not. Now let us try to solve the second example. In the second example one statement is negation p and this is another statement. So let us try to find out truth value of negation p because here also we will require truth value of negation p. So p and q are two statement under consideration at that time we know that four possibilities of truth value are there t t t f f t f f so let us try to find out negation of p so negation of true is false negation of true is false negation of false is true negation of false is true now we are finding truth value of p or q because to find out negation of p or q first we will require truth value of p or q so p observe these are truth value of p and q we are connecting them by or in case of or one statement is true truth value of or will be true. So true, true, true. Here we are not getting true. So in the last case result will be false. So true, 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 false. Now we are finding negation of this statement means negation of this statement means negation of 4. 4 means what? P or Q. So let us try to find out this negation. Negation of true is false, false, false and negation of false is what true. Once the truth value of first part is known to us find out truth value of second part. What is second part negation p and q. So observe the truth value of this much part are in column number 5 isn't it and truth value of this part is in column number 6. 
Now, truth value of negation P is also known and Q is also known. So, we are connecting these two statement by what? And. In case of and, at least one statement is false and will be false. So, false, false, true, false. False, false, true, false. Lastly, we are connecting this 5 and 6 by which logical connective or. So, 5 or 6 means these two statement we are connecting by or in case of or at least one statement is true result will be true so here we will get f since true is not there here also we will get f here also here one statement is true so result will be true here also one statement is true so result will be true means in case of or at least one statement is true uh, then truth value of or will be true so in this way we have got the truth value of this whole statement which is in the column number what 7 and negation p is in column number third so observe f f t t f f t t means truth values are identical so that's why from column 3 and and 7 what is our conclusion that negation of p or q or negation p and q is equivalent to negation p in this way we have shown that these two statements are logically equivalent now let us try to solve the third example in this third example if you'll observe only two letters are there means two statement are under consideration so we will get these four possibilities of truth values now let us try to find out truth value of first statement that is p if and only if q if and only means what double implication in case of double implication simply remember that if truth values are identical that at that time double implication is true so here truth values are identical so here we will get true here not identical so false not identical false so identical so true once the truth value of first part is known to us this truth value of first part are in column number three now to find out truth value of this second part first we will require the value of p or q so find out p or q we are connecting these two statement by or and in case of or what we what we have seen at least one statement is true truth value of or will be true so true 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 and here we will get false true 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 false now find out truth value of p and q p and q so we are connecting these two statement by and and in case of and at least one statement is false and will be false here no statement is false so true false 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 so here we will get true false 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 now we are finding negation of this statement means negation of p and q so let us try to find out its negation negation of true is what false and negation of false will be what true now observe p or q appears in which column 4 and this part negation of p and q appears in column number 6 and we are connecting these two column by which logical connective and means these two statement we are connecting by what and so observe the truth value in column number 4 and column number 6 and in case of and at least one statement is false and will be false so here false is there so here we'll get false here both are true so true here both are true so true and here one statement is false so we'll get false lastly we are finding negation of this whole statement this whole statement truth value of this whole statement is in column number seven so we are finding negation of seven negation of seven means negation of this whole statement so observe the negation of this statement what is negation of false true negation of true is false negation of true is false and negation of false is true now the truth value of this whole statement is in column number eight now observe the truth value in column number third and column number eight third and eight t f f t t f f t since the truth values are identical that's why we can say that these two statement are lo are logically equivalent so from columns columns three and eight what is our conclusion p if and only if q is equivalent to negation of p or q and negation of P and Q. So in this way we have proved that these two statements are logically equivalent. Now let us try to solve the example number fourth. If you will observe this statement here two letters are 
uh, appears in this statement means two statement are under consideration so these are four possibilities of truth value so here we will observe that we will require the truth value of negation p also so find out negation of p from truth value of p so negation of true is false negation of true is false and negation of false will be true now we are finding truth value of first part truth value of p is already known to us now try to find out q implies p so we know that implication is false only first statement is true and second statement is false means t of appears this is first statement this is second statement check that t of does not appear so it is true here also t of does not appear so it is true here t f this is first statement t f appears so it is false here t of does not appear so it is true later on we are connecting this first statement p and q implies p q implies p means what column number four means we are getting truth value of this whole statement in which column five now observe that this first column implies to what fourth column and in case of implication just you have to observe that t of appears or not if t of appears at that time implication is false so true true means true here also true true is true ff is true and ft is also what true now to find out truth value of second part we will require negation p which is already known to us and p implies q so first find out p implies q so these are truth values of p and q so first statement is p and second is q implication is there just observe tf here tf is not there so true here tf is there so false again ft means true ff means true t of appears at that time only implication is what false now negation p means which column third column and this statement means what six column and which logical connective is there implication means three implies six I means truth value of this statement we are getting in column number seven so observe these two statement are connected by implication check whether t of appears or not if first statement is false not necessary to check what is the truth value of second statement because in case of implication if first statement is false implication is always true now here check that t t is there so it is true t t is there so it is true t of does not appears now we will observe the truth value of 5 and 7 and what is our observation truth values are identical that's why we can say that these two statements are logically equivalent so from column column uh, 5 and 7 we can conclude that p implies q implies p is equivalent to negation p implies p implies q now see the example number five in this example how many letters appears in this statement three letters p q r means three statement are under consideration so eight different possibilities of truth values are there now to find out truth value of first part first we will require the truth value of p or q so these are truth value of p and q we are connecting these two statement by or and in case of or at least one statement is true truth value of or will be true so observe the truth value of these two statement true 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 false false so true 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 false false isn't it now we are finding uh, implication of this statement with or so this statement means for implies r so these are the truth value of r so implication is false if first statement is true and second statement is false this is first statement this is second statement so t of does not appear so it is true t of appears so it is false t of does not appear so true t of appears so it is false t t means true t of means false here also first statement is false means not necessary to check what is the truth value of second statement implication is always true in this way we have got the truth value of first part which lies in column number five now to find out truth value of the second part first find out p implies r and then q implies r p implies r and then find out q implies r and later on we will connect them by and so p implies R. so these are the truth value of p and these are the truth value of r implication is false only t of appears here t of does not appear so true t of appears means false here t t means true t of means false and later on if you observe here first 
पार्ट इज फॉल्स इफ फर्स्ट पार्ट इज फॉल्स एट दैट टाइम इम्प्लीकेशन इज ऑलवेज ट्रू नाउ फाइंड आउट क्यू इम्प्लाइज आर ऑब्जर्व दीज आर द ट्रूथ वैल्यूज ऑफ क्यू एंड आर टी टी मीन्स ट्रू टी एफ मीन्स फॉल्स एफ टी मीन्स ट्रू एफ एफ मीन्स ट्रू टी टी मीन्स ट्रू हियर टी एफ एफ पी एस टी एफ एफ पी एस एट दैट टाइम इम्प्लीकेशन इज फॉल्स हियर फर्स्ट स्टेटमेंट इज फॉल्स सो नॉट नेसेसरी टू चेक वॉट इज द ट्रूथ वैल्यू ऑफ सेकेंड पार्ट इम्प्लीकेशन विल बी ट्रू हियर नाउ वी आर कनेक्टिंग दिस स्टेटमेंट मीन्स सिक्स विथ सेवन बाय विच लॉजिकल कनेक्टिव एंड सो मीन्स वी आर गेटिंग ट्रूथ वैल्यू ऑफ दिस स्टेटमेंट इन कॉलम नंबर एट सो वी आर कनेक्टिंग दिस टू स्टेटमेंट बाय एंड इन केस ऑफ एंड इफ एट लीस्ट वन यफ एपीएस एंड विल बी फॉल्स सो हियर वी विल गेट ट्रू फॉल्स वन स्टेटमेंट इज फॉल्स सो हियर ट्रू हियर अगेन वी आर गेटिंग फॉल्स ट्रू फॉल्स ट्रू ट्रू नो ऑब्जर्व द कॉलम नंबर फाइव एंड एट फाइव एंड एट चेक वेदर द ट्रूथ वैल्यूज आर आइडेंटिकल और नॉट येस वी कैन ऑब्जर्व दैट द ट्रूथ वैल्यूज आर आइडेंटिकल दैट्स वाई वी कैन से दैट फ्रॉम कॉलम फ्रॉम कॉलम फाइव एंड एट वी कैन कंक्लूड दैट दीज टू स्टेटमेंट आर इक्विवेलेंट दैट इज पी और क्यू इम्प्लाइज आर इज इक्विवेलेंट टू पी इम्प्लाइज आर एंड क्यू इम्प्लाइज आर now let us try to solve the example number 6 in example number 6 also if you will observe both the statement three letters appears means three statement are under consideration in such cases we have to find out truth value for these eight possibilities let us try to find out truth value of first statement for that purpose first we have to find out q and r q and r so connect these two statement by and in case of and at least one statement is false and will be false so here true here one false appears false false so false 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 again true false 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 now we are finding implication of p with with which statement q and r so truth value of q and r and p are known to us connect these two statement by implication in case of implication just observe t of appears or not so here t of does not appear so it is true so t of is there so false t of is there so false t of is there so false and here first part is false at that time implication is always true whatever may be the second part now to find out truth value of second statement first find out p implies q and then find out p implies r so p implies q in case of implication t of appears at that time only implication is false so true true false false and later on true so true true false false because here t of t of appears and if first statement is false implication is always what true now find out p implies r p implies r here t t means true T of means false. T T means true. T F means false. And here first statement is false means implication is always true. Now we are connecting these two statement. This statement means six, and and this statement means seven. And the truth value of this whole statement appears in column number eight. Connect these two statement by which logical connective and in case of and if first statement if at least one of appears and will be false. So true, false, 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 true, true, true. So from column column five and eight five and eight we can observe that truth values are identical. That's why we can say that given two statement are logically equivalent. now see the example number 7 in this example number 7 how many letters are there three letters if three letters are there then how many possibilities of truth values we are getting eight so now let us try to find out truth value of these two statement here we will required negation p so first we are finding sorry negation q so first we are finding negation of q so observe the truth value of q we are finding its negation negation of true is false negation of true is false negation of false is true again negation of true is false negation of false is what true 
Now let us try to find out truth value of this statement. For that purpose, first we have to find out Q and R. Now observe here, these are the truth value of Q and R. We are connecting them by which logical connective and. In case of and, at least one statement is false and will be false. So here true, here one F, F, F appears. So here we will get false, false, false. Then again both are true, so result will be true. So false, false, false. So here again we are getting F, F, F because at least one statement is false and will be false. Now Q and R appears in which column? Phi U and P implies Phi U. So here P implies Phi U. Let us try to find out truth value of P implies Phi U means truth value of this whole statement which lies in which column? Column number 6. So in case of implication, simply remember that if TF appears, implication is false. So here true true is there. So that's why we can say that it is T, TF. So it is false. Again TF. So it is false. Again TF. It is false. Now if you will observe first statement is false. First statement is false. At that time implication is always true. Whatever will be the truth value of second statement. Once the truth value of first part is known to us, let us try to find out truth value of second part. To find out truth value of second statement, first we have to find out truth value of P and negation Q. So P is known to us, negation Q is also known to us. We are connecting them by AND. And in case of AND, at least one statement is false AND will be false. So here F, F appears. So that's why here we will get F, F. Then T, 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 T. So here we will get true. Again, if you will observe here, uh, P is false. If at least one statement is false, truth value of AND will be false. So here in all cases, in all remaining cases, we are getting false here. Now we are finding negation of this statement. So this statement means what? It appears in which column? 7. And we are finding negation of 7. Negation of 7 means this whole statement will become what? 8. So negation of false will be true, negation of true will be false, again negation of false will be true. So in this way we have got the truth value of this first part. Now P implies R, P implies R. So truth value of P and R are known to us, we are connecting them by implication. In case of implication, if T of appears, implication will be false. So here true true means true. Here TF appears, so that's why it is false. Here TT means true. TF appears, that's why we can say that it is false. Here if you will observe, first statement is false, that's why we can say that implication is true. We know that if first statement is false, then implication is true, whatever may be the truth value of second part. Once the truth value of this part is known to us, which lies in which column? 9. Now this 8, 8 and 9, we are connecting by AND. So 8 and 9 means this whole statement will become what lies in what which column 10. So now we are connecting these two statement by and and in case of and if at least one statement is false and will be false. So here f does not appear so true false false false. So false 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 then again true 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 now observe the truth value in column number 6 and column number 10 so t f f f t t t t t f f f t t means we are observing that from column number 6 and and column number 10 we can conclude that that these two statement are logically equivalent since their truth values are identical now observe the example number 8 in this case also three letters are there means three statement are under consideration so we have to uh, check whether this statement is logically equivalent or not for all these eight possibilities. So if you will observe this statement first to find out truth value of first part we will require first Q or R and in case of or what we have seen if at least one statement is true or will be true. So true 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 false true 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 false again true 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 false true 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 false because at least one statement is true or will be true now we are finding p and q or 
R means this first column and this fourth column we are connecting by which logical connective and and in case of and if at least one statement is false and will be false so true 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 means true 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 then observe false 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 at least one statement is false and will be false in this way we have got the truth value of first part now find out truth value of second part for that purpose first find out p and q then find out p and r and lastly we will connect them by or so p and q observe the truth value of p and q we are connecting them by and means at least one statement is false and will be false true true false 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 means only in first two cases true is there and in remaining cases false is there because and is false if at least one statement is false then p and r so p and r we are connecting these two statement by and so here also at least one statement is false and will be false true true means true f appears so false again here f does not appear so true here f appears and here f f f f means in remaining all cases at least one statement is false that's why we can say that and will be false lastly we are connecting this statement and this statement this lies in column number six and this lies in column number seven and we are connecting these two statement by which logical connective or now in case of or if at least one true appears result will be true so t t t then f f f f f so here t t t here we will get f f f f f now observe the column number 5 and column number 8 we are we can easily observe that truth values are identical and that's why we can say that these two statement are logically equivalent now observe the next example here three letters appears means three statement are under consideration so we have to construct the truth value for all eight possibilities so now first we are trying to find out value of p or q because we will require the value of p or q here also will require p or q and here also will require p or q so p or q in case of or at least one statement is true result will be true so true 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 in first six cases at least one t appears so that's why in first six cases we are getting true and in last two cases true is not there that's why or will be false now we are finding negation of p or q negation of p or q because in the first part we will require its negation so let us try to find out negation of p or q value of truth value of p or q are known to us we are finding its negation negation of true is false again negation of true is false 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 negation of false is true negation of false is true now we are connecting these two statement p or q and negation of p or q by which logical connective or this lies in column number five column number five and this statement lies in column number four and these two column we are connecting by which logical connective or means five or four these two statement we are connecting by or and in case of or at least one statement is true truth value of or will be true so here connect these two statement by or observe that t t t t t t and here also t t means at least one statement is true or will be true so here in every case every possibility at least one t appears so that's why here we are getting uh, truth value of this statement will be true now observe the truth now we are finding uh, we are connecting these two statement by and the truth value of this whole statement appears in which column six six we are connecting with what and r isn't it with this six statement and r connected by what and so observe the truth value in column number six and truth value of r we are connecting these two statement by which logical connective and and in case of and at least one of appears result will be false so here both are true so result will be true here one statement is false so result is false here both are true so result is true here one is false so result will be false here both are true so t here f appears at least one of appears so result will be false here f appears so result will be false 
Now observe the truth value in column number 7, which are the truth value of this whole statement. And second part is what R. Observe the truth value of R. Check whether the truth value are identical or not. So from column number 7 and column number 3, we, we can conclude that since the truth values are identical, these two statements are logically equivalent. Now let us try to solve the last example from this question. Here two letters are there means two statements are under consideration. So if two statements are under consideration, so how many possibilities of truth values are there? Four. So if you'll observe this statement somewhere we will require what negation P and negation Q also. So first we are finding negation P and negation Q. So find out negation of P, negation of true is false and this negation of false will be true. Now find out negation of Q. Negation of true is false. Negation of false is true. Again negation of true is false. Negation of false is true. Now find out truth value of first part. So to find out truth value of first part, first we have to find out P if and only if Q. Means these two statement we are connecting by double implication. In case of double implication, truth values are identical. At that time double implication is true. So both are identical, so true, here not identical, not identical, so false, false. Here again truth values are identical, so it will be true. Now we are finding negation of this statement, means negation of P if and only if Q, means we will get truth value of first part and this value lies in which column? Column number 6. Find out its negation, negation of true is false, negation of false will be true and negation of true is false. Now find out truth value of second part. In this, in this case, first we are finding truth value of P and negation Q. Observe the truth value of P and negation Q are known to us. We are connecting them by AND means at least one statement is false. Truth value of AND will be false. So F T F F F T F F. Then find out truth value of Q and negation P. Take Q and negation P. Truth value of Q and negation P are known to us. We are connecting them by AND. And in case of AND, if at least one statement is false, AND will be false. F, F, T, F. F, F, T, F. Lastly, we are connecting these two statements. These two statements. This statement means its truth value lies in column number 7 and here column number 8. Means these two statements. Meant we are connecting by what or means 7 or 8. In case of or at least one statement is uh, true or will be true. So here both are false so result will be false here at least one statement is true so true true here we will get false. Now truth value of this whole statement lies in which column? Column number 9. Now observe the truth value in column number 6 and column number 9. What, what is our observation? That truth values are identical F T T F F T T F. Since the truth values are identical so we can conclude that these two statements are logically equivalent. So in this case uh, from column number 6 and 9 we are able to say that the given two statements are logically equivalent. In this way, we have shown that two statements are logically equivalent using what truth table. Again, later on we are, we are introducing some important laws and using that laws also, we are able to show that two statements are logically equivalent. Means question can be asked to show that two statements are equivalent using truth table or without using truth table. If the question is asked to show that two statements are equivalent you without using truth table, at that time we have to apply laws. That part we are discussing in, in next exercise. So in this way we have completed question number two from this exercise. Next question we are starting in the next lecture.